Tonight, Fox 5 has obtained never-before-seen footage of a YouTube prank that ended with a shooting. A Loudoun County jury found Alan Coley not guilty of the most serious charge connected to the shooting at Dallas Town Center. David Kaplan's working this one tonight. You got your hands on the video. What happened here? Yeah, Jim, Tanner Cook's YouTube page has nearly 56,000 followers. Most videos show Cook going to public places and doing some sort of prank that people typically have negative reactions to. We're going to walk you through this video without audio first, then we'll play the whole thing for you. On April 2nd at Dulles Town Center, Cook was being filmed as part of his YouTube page as he walked up to Kali, who was picking up a food delivery. On Cook's phone, he had an automated voice play a vulgar message that was repeated multiple times to Kali, who tells him to get away or he'll call the police, is what it appears to say in the video. Kali tries walking away. Cook appears to follow. Then the lone shot rings out. Here's the full video. Huh? What? Collie did have a concealed carry permit. Cook has recovered. Collie was found guilty of discharging a firearm in a public place. Again, not guilty on some of the wounding related charges. His attorneys, Collie's getting a hearing next month, arguing that the verdict should be thrown out on the discharge in public since it was self-defense. Today, the Loudoun County Commonwealth's attorney says the force used by Collie, they believe, did not match, match the threat he faced. Cook's father, Jeremy, agreed with that, but disagreed with some parts of how the Commonwealth's attorney prosecuted its case. Where's the line where it became a life-threatening situation where he had to use deadly force? If you see that line that was crossed, then you can think like that. But if you watch the video, at no point do you go, oh, there's where it became a physical point where this guy had to defend himself. That, that, that never happened. tonight to get their perspective. They told me this was a difficult case. One juror told me that uh, he did believe that Cook was a threat Kali, uh, to Kali, specifically pointing to Cook's size relative to Kali and the fact that Cook wasn't speaking and kept following him and that Cook had an expressionless face. The jury originally told the judge they were deadlocked. Then they came back with the verdict a short time later when they handed down that verdict yesterday. What was the jury thinking in the room? What changed their mind? I have the one juror's perspective. We'll have that at 6.30 as we continue our coverage. Jim, Jacqueline. All right, David. Thank